An average mass transit bus powered by diesel releases 1.35 kilograms of carbon into the atmosphere per kilometer. The Lagos mass transit buses do an average of 200 kilometers a day. That's 270 kilograms of carbon per day per bus. My name is Ademola Ogumbanja. I am Executive Vice President of Orlando Clean Energy. Globally, you would find that the GSG emission contributions from the transport sector is about 24-25%. That's the global average. The Nigerian average, however, is about 62% and above. We're looking at rolling out 12,000 electric buses across the country by 2030. We're only starting with Lagos, recognizing that if we're able to make it work in Lagos, we will make it work across the country. Once we're able to decarbonize the transport sector in Nigeria, we would have made major gains towards the achievement of our net zero target as a nation. And as well, there's a commercial argument for this. There's the need that uh, Lagos State has today that's been put at about, say, 6,000 to 6,400 for mass transit buses within the city. But what we have operational today is less than 900, which means there's a gap of about 5,500. This gap has to be bridged. But what we're working towards is to ensure that the gap is bridged with electric vehicles or other sustainable fuel uh, powered vehicles that are cheaper than diesel today. We cannot you know, begin to enumerate the impact of noise pollution on Lagosians and um, uh, air pollution and what cost that puts on the primary healthcare system within Lagos State, how people get sick and because they're sick they cannot work, productivity is reduced, when productivity reduces, revenue from taxes reduce and when that reduces, governments now on the back end of that spend more on primary healthcare and then life expectancy continues to dwindle. These are the social costs that this project will make a significant attempt to tackle.